My name is Isa and I'm from, from Rzeszów, from Poland. When I came to London for the first time, I had this impression. I thought that London is like a puzzle thing without any frames and you are like the small, you know, small part of it and you can stick yourself wherever you want and you always fit. Destiny is something I don't comprehend Follow your road all the way to the end What are the traps and the obstacles placed? I really like photograph people, especially taking portraits. Eyes are really important, the most important, I think. So always uh, I focus on eyes and try to look into person. I love what's you know hidden in face and all the f expressions and emotions that they are picture. The magic of traditional film photography, also the mystery. You want to be able to see results until the whole film will be developed. And I really love this saying that I read once that the picture that you take is not only a portrait of the person in front of you, but it somehow it's also a portrait of yourself. London is a city of endless opportunities and, and options, but also it is very difficult to live here. You have to be extremely creative to be able to earn money, to be able to live in London. You always look for something in London. Either it's a job or a place to live or for love. Are we all headed on so strict Choices we make when our world ever falls. Question is whether the universe harbors a plan. Is there such thing as an action beyond a compromise? I have a very good impression about British people. I love the fact that you are just, you know, waiting on a bus stop and you have this small conversation. It can be about weather, it can be about the coat that you're wearing, but you interact with people. Even if it's a small and silly thing, it just makes you happy and you know, you are not alone. You don't feel that you're alone. I think that in Poland it's a little bit more difficult with that. In Poland, I think that people are a little bit more depressed and sad. I think it's just the way you were brought up. And all those um, things from the past and political issues influence how the people are. I always thought that when you're 29, you are in a certain point of your life and you already have many things. I thought that, you know, if you are talented, if you want something, then you can achieve it. That's the lesson that I had coming here, that you have to be lucky as well. You have to have a certain amount of luck.